In this video, I'm going to share with you the key differences between having an open loop line group and a closed loop line group. All right. So right here, I have two copies of exactly the same design, except the one on the left is an open loop line group. And the one on my right here is a closed loop line group. All right. So if you look at this now, and we select this and go into the vertex sub selection mode, you will notice now for this cluster of vertex points, all of them appear white color. And the lower portion here, you see that there are more than one yellow vertex points here as well. Compared to, let me get out of this. To get out of the selection mode, we need to click on the blue colored area here again so that we can deselect them. All right. So we're going to click on the next one on the right side and click on the vertex selection mode. Now in this, you notice here, within this entire loop itself, there is only one yellow vertex point here. Compared to this outer cluster here, this outer loop of lines, there is only one yellow vertex point. Likewise, on the inner loop here, there is also one yellow vertex point here. So what is the key difference? Now the key difference is this, when we select both of them and add on our new, new modifier to it. Okay, let's just use uh, extrude for example, right? So we click on the drop down list and use the key E to quickly get us to the extrude command here. And then for example, we enter uh, 1000. Okay, you will notice here, okay, let me just change this to H. You will notice here, this area, the one on the left side here with the open loops will appear hollow, like a cookie cutter knife. Whereas the one with the closed loops will appear as a solid. So how can we now make sure both of these okay, will become closed loops? We need to click on the left spline group here. All right, we can turn on and off the, the additional modifier here. So we can temporarily turn them off first and go into the vertex sub selection mode now. And we can quickly do a window select across the entire line group cluster here and click on the well command. All right. Once we are done with this, we can click on the vertex mode again to get back to the line top level selection. And then we will click on the eye here on the left side of the extrude command to turn it on. Okay, notice now both models here have become closed loops and this hollow appearance or this hollow model on the left side no longer appears hollow now.